Listen up. We are Hebrew Israelites. Come out here every week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this, of this wicked place called America. And to bring these people on the sign back to the true nationality. For you Negroes, you Latinos, Native American Indians, you're the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks about. And that John be born and condemn this place until his uh, coming destruction. All right, because we come out every weekend, every, every, every week, telling you the same message, and it's never changed, all right? Who you ignorantly call Jesus and God, they're coming back to destroy you people, all right? And, and, and real quick, we're gonna get it, but the reason y'all don't notice you'll never get it is because you failed to acknowledge the fact that in this time was your battle, all right? That the things that you were being put through, whether it be through a, 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 the, these, these, listening to certain doctors or trying to find the right way, you, you didn't use those situations to humble yourself. Because the most high in this time, he'll put you through things, he'll put you through things and experiences for you to be able to see the truth. And without that, you can't get the truth. And that's the thing, man, the prophets and all the men of the Lord, the most high puts them through experiences. And so you can actually see the, uh, the, uh, the the real side. All right, and that's why you can't get it because you don't go through those things. Y'all never been put through an experience or uh, a so-called affliction that really uh, helps you open your eyes. That's why I still think America is a, is a, is a uh, God-given uh, uh, continent, land, all right? So that's why we tell you every day, uh, every week that you're gonna be, destro be destroyed because you worship the things you don't even know about. Like, like for instance, too, uh, was coming up in a few days, Christmas or Saturnalia, all right? I'll get this one and I'll get that one for this is uh, the prophet Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right, and, and real quick, do you think the prophets, when they were preaching about these things, do you really honestly think that the people uh, were, uh, were happy about it? Do you think that they were coming up to shake their hands or do you think they were trying to kill them? Because that's what they were trying to do. The people that, that, that the prophets were condemning, they were trying to kill the prophets. They were trying, they were, they, uh, what are they saying? Uh, uh, turn you out of the way. Uh, oh, yeah. Isaiah, man. Yeah, they were, they were telling them to get out the way. That, that basically means they were trying to do away with them. Because, like, again, nobody wants to be told that, there's, that their beloved city or their, or their house is going to be destroyed. And we preach about fire, man, about war and pestilence. These plagues, like you had the recent Ebola, which is just another, uh, it, it really happened, but it's more propaganda for e uh, Esau, the so-called white man, to, uh, to give you something more evil, right? This is Matthew chapter 23, verse 37. Verse 36. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come on all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. And, and ye would not, man. You you tried killing the prophets. They did. Yeah, they did. Yes. Yeah, uh, you had you had the prophets. But then that's where Baruch came in and continued his prophecy. You know, so like we always say, you can move us out the way. You can try to stop these words of terror, these words of terror, because they are terrible, man. Because there's nothing good that's coming upon this world, the earth, okay? These words of terror are gonna come to pass and y'all don't like these words. Like, like, I, like I always said in the past, after learning through experience, I don't have to cuss to get in trouble over the word. All I gotta do is speak the prophecy and I will get in trouble. And it's terrible. It's terrible to your people here because it's bad news. But to the elect, it's good news. Yeah, and another thing too, man, is when it said that Yahweh Shah would have gathered him gathered up his children as a as a hen doth the chick doth her chickens.
man, Yahweh Shai loved the prophets. A lot of y'all people think that he loved everybody. He said, he said, I would have gathered my my children, my chickens. It, it, he, he's talking about Israel. Yeah. Israel as a whole. How often, you know what I'm saying? Like, he knew, he knows how precious Israel is to him. But he also knows, you can't, you can't forget that two thirds of, of Israel are wicked. And those are the ones that are killing off the prophets. Neglect, or uh, not neglecting, but they're uh, they're despising them. Mocking and scoffing at the uh, prophets of the Lord. There's a new, uh, there's a new movie out there with Medea. It's a new movie about with the Medea. And uh, they're at their house, but the grandpa, I don't know, is that her brother that's the one in the... Yeah, the brother. The, her brother. And then they, they, he finds out he has a son, and his son's all old. And, uh, but it's a white man. But in that movie, I forget what it's called exactly. I know it's a, a Medea movie. It's a mo I guess it's the newest one. But in that movie, a white woman comes in and starts calling them uh, Negroes. And they're like, wait, they're, this is uh, the year 2000 something, whatever. They're not referred to as Negroes no more. They're not referred to as, uh, uh, what, what was Negroes and then what, what was it? After Negroes, it was uh, niggers or, or coons or something like that. Then they said blacks. Now they're known as African Americans. But then she goes, the spiritual, spiritual Negroes. They know. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai knows that the elect or, or the nation of Israel are spiritual people. <coughs> but in that movie, they show it. And the Edomite is saying it. And she starts calling them spirituals. Because one of the, the brothers always said that the elect are at a higher frequency than everybody else on the earth. We have a closer connection to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai than anybody on the earth. The heathen don't got that. The two thirds don't got that. But two thirds have, they're partially, they're partially, uh, 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 they're, they're spiritual still. But they're carnal in the sin, they're more carnal than they are spiritual. But Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, like the brother was talking about, how often when he would gather his children like a hen gather her chicks under her wing. He would do that no matter what, if all we do is obey. He would protect them. But because that didn't go, that didn't happen, now destruction's coming. You want me to go ahead and get this? Uh, uh, I'm sorry for that. No, no, I was just listening, taking it in. Uh, you you finished with it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me go ahead and get that book. Let me solve it. Chapter 1, uh, verse 4. You want me to start at verse 1? Uh, it's part of, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart to seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. Right, like the brother was saying, that because you didn't obey, it, it finally just, it just he, the Most High did away with certain things. And it's because you tempted the Most High. It says in, uh, I, I believe it says in Psalms, the 94th chapter, I believe, that, or one of them, that you tempted him in the wilderness. You were, you, you two thirds were always telling the Most High what to do. Or you were trying to tell, or you were trying to tell him to prove himself. A man wanted to tell his all infinite power what to do. You know, and, and you want, and like the brother said, you want to, you want to know why destruction's coming on this place. Because you were wicked back then, man, but you, you, continued your wickedness and it's piled up towards at a great uh rate today where it uh what was that man there was a point oh what was it it was about the witchcraft you remember we spoke about it last week something about the witchcraft like you you two thirds y'all find out about witchcraft but then y'all go in y'all go deeper into it you know y'all don't just stop y'all don't, don't stop at the first part where you finally find out oh man you don't want to mess with it but you keep on going back to stuff man you keep on getting more wicked with it you find out newer things you can do with it that's basically what you two what you two-thirds are doing and the most like, like the brothers like even right there it said 
uh, him that be, him from him, how does it go? That they that find him will not tempt him. Uh, yeah, but he will, but he will be found of them that tempt him not. Right, he'll be found of them that tempt him not, but because that frequency knows that spirit. We, I just going to say, we bear witness of what we know, man. <clears throat> like I said, like the very first scripture we brought out, man. The prophets, man, were put through things, man, to understand. We, and, and that's really, that's uh, that's how it brought, that's just how it goes, man. The, you gotta go through things in hard times to really, to really be able to say, I know how this goes, I know how that, how that goes. I understand why this is gonna happen this way and why it's proclaimed it upon this place because I see it now. I've, I've dealt with it, I've been through it. I've had it happen to me. And that's what I'm trying to get at today, man, is that the man even today, you people, like you people are so quick to call us crazy or say or, or think it's impossible for a man to really uh to, for a man to really to be really, I guess, touched, spiritually touched today. You think it's impossible for the way that we talk about it for that to happen. But it really does. If you're not put through a situation, you're not gonna wanna believe. But when it finally comes, like the scriptures say, it's already too late. Like this whole like like for instance, man. A brother may be struggling with something certain in the truth, but a two thousand will look at him and be like, "Oh, that's just everyday life." I mean, partially he's right, but it's not the case. That brother's being put through something because he's trying to humble him, or he's he's, he's going up a uh, he's learning. But you people think that's not possible today. But again, the prophets from the before and the old and today, we all go through things for it to be clear to us. So we can stand up against the nation and condemn it the right way, a just balance. I got a Sarah, chapter 34, verse 9. A man that had traveled knoweth many things, and he that had much experience will declare wisdom. He that had no experience knoweth little, but he that had traveled is full of prudence. When I traveled, I saw many things. And I understood more than I can express. When I traveled, I saw many things, and I understand more than I can express. Yeah, see, because he went through everything. All right, he went through those those roads, those trials. All right. Again, that's, like King, that's real quick. That that's like uh, King uh, King Solomon. King Solomon had 360 degree of all wisdom. With all things, the good and the bad, you know. So that's the uh, what it tells you that in First John, you know, where it says that we receive uh, 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 the spirit of error and the spirit of, uh, uh, of good, and that's part of understanding. Because if you don't understand, if you have no understanding, the scriptures say the first thing. But with all that getting, get understanding. You gotta have understanding of, of things, and under, to to be able to function properly, to make the right uh, uh, choices, the judgments. And ultimately, you always have to come back to the scriptures to find out whether or not it's right. Uh, yeah, I got you. First John, chapter, uh, first John, chapter four, verse one. Spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shemashak is coming to flesh is of the Most High, and every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shemashak is coming to flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Whereof you have heard that it should come, even now already is it in the world. Uh, you are of the both side, little children, and have overcome them. Because, where are you at? Verse 5. Uh, but then it says verse 6. Okay. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I just want to tell that part of the spirit. Uh, uh, okay, I I'll jump down. It says, uh, Go ahead and finish. Okay. Uh, uh, verse 5. They are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world. Yeah, right. That, that's what I said. I was saying that the nation of Israel are spiritual people. They're a special people. But two thirds of you are carnal. But you have a form of spirituality, but y'all can't tap into it fully. 
it doesn't take, like the brother was saying, that the hand of God has to literally touch us for, and for everybody to see a bright light to blow up in the sky, and that's what happens. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a miracle that occurs in the mind, in the spirit, the, pi, the pineal gland, or what have you. Just like when Yahweh was shy, uh, uh, when, when Joseph and Mary came together and, 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 and lay together, and they buried Yahweh Shai, the Holy Ghost immediately was uh, put into Yahweh Shai. Y'all don't understand that. There was a bleak, like, it, like the, the brothers always brought up that movie, uh, Three Men and a Baby. And they show you how when the sperm goes into the woman and there's like a big explosion when the sperm makes it into the, uh, the, uh, egg. yeah, the egg. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah, but y'all don't see it. We don't see it happening. It's all spiritual. But because y'all are the world, y'all lack knowledge, y'all lack understanding. It says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Right, because y'all lack faith, y'all don't believe. Right? Only the elect are going to believe and take heed in the warnings to what we prophesy, or what the scriptures are prophesying. Right? Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Right, we know the spirit of the truth and we know the spirit of error, man. We're not dumb. Y'all, people don't know the spirit of the truth. Y'all, like the scriptures say, y'all like children tossed to and fro in, in, in the waves, in the water. Y'all, y'all, y'all faith. Y'all ask for faith, but y'all y'all do it down. Y'all y'all uh, what else? Y'all waver. You know, which means y'all doubt. You have no confidence. Y'all don't have no confidence. But ultimately, it's because y'all was shy and even dealing with. He don't want you. It's like it's like <laughs> it's like I don't, like we always made a point, man. These doctors and philosophies out there on the earth today. They only go to a certain point, man, and, they, and, and, and if it goes beyond that, it, it's and, ludicrous. Yeah, and, and one thing, the the, uh, the wisdom of the world is foolishness to Yahweh Shai. So anything the world offers you, it, there's no profit. There's no life in any of it. It's not going to gain. Like, this is a book, right? This is a book of words. But this book that has this, these words can give you life. No other book on the earth has that power, man. <laughs> Your Christmas can't save you. It don't, know, it don't matter how many candles you burn to Santa Guadalupe, that's not gonna save you. It don't matter how many rocks and mountains you climb to the Virgin Mary with bloody knees, you're not gonna be saved by that. It don't matter how many Hail Marys you pray, you're not gonna be saved by that. It don't, it don't matter how many rose, ho, rosary beads you carry in your hand and your chest, and around your bed, under your bed, it's not gonna save you. Yahweh Shai never said to do any of that. Nowhere in the scriptures did he tell you. But it's like you people gotta build an image to believe that it's for real. That, 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 that's why Esau, when he came to the new world, he's like, man, you know what, let's, let's, we're, gonna, we're gonna deceive these people. They're, 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 like Yahweh Shai said, we're, we're, uh, we're like sheep. When you look at a sheep, a sheep looks all docile. They're like, you know, they're they're looking for their <laughs> guidance and they're afraid and stuff like that. That's why they need a shepherd. But Esau knew all he had to do was bring an image and make y'all and, and put it in y'all's head. Y'all would believe it. Hey man, real quick. Hey, because he brought up that point, man, that image. But uh, man, when Esau came to America, so-called America, man. And he saw the Latinos or the, uh, the, the, the Indians, Indian tribes. He already came with a proud ass mindset, man. And in fact, one of the brothers in, our, in, in the camp brought it up, made a video about it. But when that time came, Esau was already counting you all, all these people on the side, three fifths of a human being. He didn't. He, he said that y'all were uh, basically dogs. They, they, I know there's. They said that they would call y'all savages. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you. Latino tribe, you Native American Indians, and what have you. Y'all.